Hey, welcome back. We're at 1 Samuel 14, and we're at verse 11 through 14. Let's see what happens. I think you remember the backstory. Jonathan has had this bold plan. They're way down below, and the Philistine garrison is way up high. They show themselves. Well, anyway, let's see what happens next. So both of them showed themselves to the garrison of the Philistines, and the Philistines said, Look, the Hebrews are coming out of the holes where they have hidden. Then the men of the garrison called to Jonathan and his armor bearer and said, Come up to us and we will show you something. Jonathan said to his armor bearer, Come up after me, for the Lord has delivered them into the hand of Israel. And Jonathan climbed up on his hands and knees with his armor bearer after him. And they fell before Jonathan, and as he came after him, his armor bearer killed them. That first slaughter which Jonathan and his armor bearer made was about 20 men within about half an acre of land. Oh, this is very interesting, very wild. Going uphill, attacking uphill, one man against against 20, and yet they fell before Jonathan. There's no big uh, recording here of, you know, like you would see it in a movie where you've got it all worked out and special effects and blood gushing everywhere. God help us, why do we why does anybody watch something like that? Here we just have simply the bold tell. He just went up and the Lord was with him. I like the way that Jonathan didn't say, God has delivered him into my hand, me, Jonathan the warrior. He says, no, he says, God has delivered them into the hands of Israel. He is part of the bigger plan. He's part of the kingdom that, that God has. And we need to see ourselves as when, when God helps us, just like Jonathan, God will deliver us. God will deliver Israel and he uses us. We're just, we just the, the person who's at that moment on the front line. So bold action here. Again, we noticed what we had militarily. The Philistines are, are militarily have way more of everything than the Hebrews do. And yet Jonathan does this crazy thing and he wins. Why? Because he's just, you know, Mr. Superhero? No, because God's on the side of his people. And there's a lesson for us here. We need to be serving God and be bold and actually get out there and climb up the hill and see what happens. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, thank you for Jonathan. What an example, an example of courage and perhaps even more than courage, an example of faith. Faith is not a feature that we can brag very much about, Lord. Of course, there isn't anything we can brag about. It's all a gift from you. But one thing we need more of, we need to practice and act out the faith that we profess. So help us, Lord, to be like Jonathan, who acted out the faith that he had. He knew you were on his side after you gave the sign. Help us, Lord, to know that we can serve you and you will provide the victory. Be our, be our leader, Lord. We thank you for hearing our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. So there is Jonathan standing up on top with his armor bearer, totally triumphant for Israel, not for himself. God be with you and I today and help us to be bold also, maybe we need to do some climbing. God be with you.